What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into the video, I am going to run through the launch that is going live tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ooh, Katie. Who's Katie? You got, you got, you got girls that you didn't tell me about? Shit. First up, we are calling this the JDM shirt because it's JDM. Boston Apparel on the front designed the coordinates of where this guy was designed, Jared's backyard. So that's what we got in the front. That is the back logo, Boston V logo with live with passion in Japanese. So we got a black one and we have charcoal colorway in that same shirt. Absolute bangers. Next up, this is the only drip tee that we have this time around, hyper blue. So that's the front logo, drip logo on the back, charcoal, simple Boston V, okay? Beautiful, live with passion stacked on the back. Absolute banger. You can wear this out, you know, when you bring a girl on a date. Next up is the graffiti design. So we have a black and a light gray. Check out that fire. Blank on the back because you don't want to put nothing on the back. <laughs> Are we actually calling these hot boy summers? <laughs> Last but not least of the t-shirts, the retro summer shirts. These things are actually a lot. They came out way better than I expected. I thought I wasn't gonna like them at first, but they're honestly my favorite. So cream and a baby blue. That's the front, live with passion on the back. Nice bubbly text. Excellent for females, excellent for males. Bobby really likes them. So those are the eight t-shirts that we have dropping. And then here are the four sweaters. Let's start out with these guys. These guys are just some simple embroidered Boston logo on the front, nothing on the back, nice thick. If you really wanna have a hot boy summer, pick up one of these if you're in Spokane. But yeah, beautiful. We got powder coated metal caps on these guys. So red on the gray and then black on the black sweater, all blacked out, sick. Next up for the sweaters are the drips. These are gonna be hot, they're gonna be a hot solid. Gray with red on the front, drip logo on the back, and then a black one with white logo on the front, white logo on the back. One thing I forgot. If you come in close, every single t-shirt, this drop has a very nice sewn on Boston patch. I don't know if that's what you call it, but that's some Hem tag patch, either or. It's a hem tag, it's a patch. And then we have two air fresheners dropping, and we're gonna have some jet tags on the site as well. Every single thing that is dropping this launch is gonna be never restocked. So as soon as it sells out, it's done for. Every order over $25 that is placed on Saturday before midnight PST, we are throwing in a free air freshener. Beautiful drip logos. You, you're gonna get one of these three, red, blue, or white. And the only way to get these is if you spend over 25 on the site. These are not available on the site. So if you want one, just buy a banger shirt, you'll get a free air freshener. 11 a.m. PST this Saturday, tomorrow, 20, 24 hours out. Also, we are giving away three $50 gift cards to the store. So head over to the Boston Instagram page and go to the latest post on the Boston page and figure out how to win a $50 gift card. We're picking three winners. Wow. So who's Katie? Tell me, bitch. <laughs> Coming okay. soon. Yeah. Yep.
going on over here, buddy? Out of gas. <laughs> Can't afford more? Ah, baby, get on the other side and help. Damn, that's a fire shirt. We're just off that. Looks like it matches Gary. It does. So check this out, boys. Bobby and I, no, 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 come here. Oh. Real quick, mm -hmm. story time. Bobby and I went to go check out a car this morning. I didn't buy it. It takes a lot for me to not buy a car. Huh. Yeah, I had to like drag Devin away because... Why didn't I buy it? Well, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't bussing enough? Yeah. To be honest, it's kind of shitty. It was. I'll, I might throw in some clips. It was a Hawkeye STI. And it would have been so sick, but it had some like weird stuff going on. Like it had a WRX motor swapped into it, which is a little weird. And then like some rear end damage I didn't like. One of the wheels was shifted forward. Just, you know. It, High miles, it wasn't worth the money. Yeah, dude, here it is. Like I said, not the cleanest car. But yeah. I know like every issue with it. So what's all wrong with it right now? What does it need? Lots of cosmetic work. Yeah. The motor runs really good though. I did say it had like a little slight knock during startup. Yeah. But I don't think it's an actual motor. Well, it's a Subaru, bro. That's what you're supposed to do. Just work on it nonstop. I know. So what motor's in it right now? It's like some JDM. It's a JDM 2.0. Oh, it's a 2.0 in it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Why does it look like the wheels push forward? Where am I tripping? Yeah, I don't know, uh, the caster. It's not even adjustable, is it? As far as I know. Barely. I don't so think. I look underneath it. If you want to jack it up, too, and look all around it, you're more than welcome to, but. It, this wheel looks way further forward yeah, than that one. It's very forward, but I compared, like, a, you know, you can, like. Holy shit. All this right here. It's all a little closer. Is this factory or is that? No, that's not factory at all. This is like actually body man doing this. Yeah, some janky shit too. Fuck yeah, it does need a lot of work, doesn't it? <laughs> How flexible are you? I. Uh, you don't even know. What, what, what do you think? I, I, don't, I know, the car needs a lot of work. Yeah, but, and it's pretty you know, high it's, miles. It's still too. fun. Yeah. I like it. So today. What are you looking at? You want to work on this clunker? Yeah, we have to. Okay. You want to explain what we're doing? Um, so I've told Devin forever I want a new headlights because, I mean, the stock ones are really nice, but I want a new ones. And we didn't get any new ones. To be honest, in my opinion, the only, so the only aftermarket headlights for this thing are the Subi Speeds, right? Yeah. And they're okay, but I honestly do think stock look better, which, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not my freaking car. But yeah, so I told Devin to make these look good. We needed to do some adjusting. We're just gonna adjust like the headlight level. That's pretty. Sick. We actually need to do that too because this is for a right-hand drive car and it blinds everybody. It's because she built. We need to switch the levels. But no, we're gonna black out the chrome on the outside and maybe in the inside. But so, I don't. I don't know. Wouldn't that be too much black? In my opinion, there's never such, there's not such thing as too much black instead of a headlight. I have to like imagine that black. Oh so yeah. So that has to be black. That, yeah, I think so. I, if this, if this was my car, I would black out the blinker bowl. That's a lot of curl. It's just me though. You don't have to. Oh. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do. I'm lost. Do you think everything that's chrome should go black? Maybe it's your car. I think it should too. Oh, okay. The downside with doing black in the blinker bowl is that the blinker's not gonna be as bright. But, hold up. We don't even, we can, should we disable the blinkers? Why? Hear me out. We already have blinkers on the freaking bumper. Huh? The running DRLs? What? Yeah. They're not plugged in, they're not working. Why are they not plugged in? I don't know. I forgot why we didn't do them. Well, we could pl probably plug them in. We probably just forgot last time you had the bumper off. I want the, I want the blinkers still working. It'd be hella sick if we just... Oh. And also, I don't have re reverse lights right now, so... You, why? You love to burn out your reverse lights. What? Uh-uh. Also, your motor looks a little dusty. Lots of pollen. Holy shit. Baby, that's all dust. Can we please raise this car a little bit? Slap your inner fenders back in. <laughs> If you said lower it, then I would agree. Oh, you're such a stance. God. Today's initial plan was obviously to go buy that freaking car, bring her back to the shop, fix up some things, go for a rip. I hate when I don't buy cars. It makes me sad. But now 
We might as well work out another sub. Little low. Nah, it's right in the center. Uh-uh. That's the center. <laughs> oh my lord. That needs a little bit of oil. You need a, a tenth of a quart in this thing. Sheesh. Don't ask me how this car still runs. We beat the shit out of it. And she doesn't even burn she doesn't even freaking burn oil. That's bussin'. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna say bussin' no more today. It's a bussin' word, but I just can't I can't say it. We're gonna go ahead, pop off the bumper, get the headlights off. Or we're gonna, I think we should do one headlight, put it back on the car so we can do like a side by side. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Also, are you sure you don't want like demonize in there or anything? I don't want demonize. You don't? It's you're not. It's because you're not cool. It's not my thing. Bobby's not cool. Headlights off, oven is preheating, 150 degrees is usually what I bake these things at for about 10 to 15 minutes. I gave the headlight a quick spray, nice and clean now, and we are gonna pull some stuff off of this thing. What can we even pull? Where the hell is the HD Bella sounds, bad boy? Where the frick is it, dude? There's nothing that we can really pull off these things, so I'm just gonna take the screws out. These are LED, aren't they? Are these things LED? Aren't ATN on up STA LED? I don't know. I think they are, huh? That's high tech, dude. One, two, three, four. three, four, five. It looks like we got five screws total holding the housing onto the, or the lens onto the housing. So we're gonna pull those screws out and then throw this thing in the oven. And what the oven does is soften the glue right here so we can get this guy off of that guy and tear apart the internals. You ready for your headlights to never work again? Cause I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, and then I'll be ready to get the other ones. Why are you doing that the hard way? I like to use my muscles. You want to use this? Cute. Nope. Nope. Push harder. Like, is the bulb even, you can't even like, if the bulb goes out, you can't change it. Yeah, hold on, right here. That's the blinker, like the low beam bulb. That guy there, you your actual headlights. There's usually a cap right here. Oh yeah, and it's not there. That's crazy, dude. It's not like this or anything? That's the motor. Oh. Huh. Went ahead and got the headlight separated. That glue is super weird, way different glue than I've ever worked with in the past. There is this wiring connector here, so we're gonna disconnect that. And then we're gonna pull this whole shroud off, that guy off, and that guy off. And those are the black, those are the things that are going black. You look stressed. I am. That's a lot of pieces to this light. You don't have faith. No, I do. It's just a lot. I don't really have faith in myself either. There is a lot of pieces. I thought this chrome would separate from the black, but it does not. So this whole piece right here, we're gonna have to clean up and paint this. So we're gonna paint this piece, that piece, and that piece. That was a lot of parts to remove just to get to this. Yep, this is why I didn't want to do it. Um, These are a pain in the bum. Yeah, they are. So we could, we could scuff this guy up, but I'd never do. I never have in headlights before, I don't think. 
and uh, I've never had a problem, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna wipe her down. With IPA. With IPA, get her cleaned up, and uh, paint all these pieces. You want gloss black or flat black? Gloss. We got everything painted. These parts turned out amazing, and this is gonna look sick. Do I dare say the B word? It's just gonna look bussin'. We have a lot of parts and pieces to try and figure out how this thing goes back together. So let's, uh, let's get her done, boys. First light is complete. Good girl. I told Bobby she has to close her eyes. And now, she can open them. You like? Holy crap. Is that perfect? Holy shit. I've been cussing a little too much lately. Yeah, you're kind of a naughty, naughty, naughty girl, naughty. <laughs> that looks so cool. You wanna set it up on there and see how it looks like? Holy crap, yeah. We still have to bake it, of course, and get it sealed together, but I'm just gonna set it oh. up on the car, set it up on the car and see how she looks. L uh, like, day and night difference. <gasps> it's gonna fall. I literally went down like an inch. You can say it. I give you permission. Game changer? No. Bussin'? Woo! 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 See, I told you it needed to be done. It did. Devin it did. didn't believe me. It's not that I didn't believe you, I would just much rather work on my cars. Is it? Yeah? Well, babe, you just got a freaking build. She built, she fully built. Okay, check this out. Before, after. Sheesh kebabs. Headlight's gonna go back in the oven for about 15 minutes, get that glue nice and warm, get it pressed together. I don't have glue here, or I'll, I would add additional glue just to make sure it's not gonna leak at all. So if it does leak, we're gonna have to pull it back apart, which honestly is not a big deal. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Damn, she looks good and it makes me excited. Something's growing in my pants. Headlights are on the car, the car is complete, and the car's outside, and Bobby's washing it. And it looks freaking amazing. Come here, Mr. Bob Wall. Hey, they're not leaking. I know. Not yet? Not yet, they're not. You like them, huh? I love them. Sick. We put everything back together, and the blinkers work. The low beams, the high beams. Go hit the blinkers real quick. I want to show you guys what it looks like with the blacked out blinker bowl, but the bulb's still in there. You can still clearly see. Bright as day. And it helps out there on the bumper as well. Obviously it's not as bright as it was before, but you can still see it just fine. Oofty, doofty, that looks good. Hell yeah. The DRL? Yeah, the DRLs work, blinkers work. It was unplugged, remember? Yeah. That's, that's sick, I can approve. I'm worried that they're gonna leak, so Bobby's washing a car and if they don't leak, we should be good. Just cause that sealant that was on these was super weird, but if they don't leak, then I guess I did my job right. Hey. Simba. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Are you pissed? Yeah, I am pissed. Get it off my head. You look beautiful. And my nose. I think I have it on my nose because I can see it. You look beautiful. Do I? Jared's having a rough night here at the shop, so I got him a... He really likes his Diet Coke, so I got him this big old boy. And he's gonna get, get excited. I got you a gift, sir. Here you go. I know you like Diet Coke. <laughs> oh my god, you got a two liter? Hell yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna die when you drink the whole thing tonight. I will. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, my friends, it's a wrap. Bobby, I'm sorry it took so long to make your car look half as good as a, a stock Evo, but, but she's getting there. How's your forehead feel, by the way? <laughs> Not okay. There's still black like in between my wrinkles. Oh, poor baby, I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Good night, my friends. We will see you tomorrow. We have a family channel now. We're the father and da um, mother. And that is our son. <laughs> What's the name of the family channel? Bigbussin.com. Sounds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an Alabama family. <laughs>